I've done work that's very contemporary, and I've done work that's extremely traditional. And I enjoy them. I enjoy the process. You know, it's funny, my father was an architect, and he used to take us, our family vacations and things would be, you know, to go check out some building somewhere that Frank Lloyd Wright had done, or, you know. As much as I enjoyed it, I, I never thought I would be an architect. I thought of it as a difficult profession that didn't pay very well. My parents actually told me never to do it. But then when I went to school and I thought, oh, I'm going to be a successful businessman like my uncle. I didn't enjoy the classes at all for that. And I started taking fine art courses and enjoyed that a lot, but it didn't have enough purpose for me. I wanted something that was more engaged in a direct way in, in society and in culture. I ended up sort of realizing how much I loved architecture and, and switched majors, and I never looked back. I am the principal in charge of Toya Studio, which is a high-end residential architecture firm specializing in mostly houses and apartments. What I would say unifies them is that they're all pretty highly customized. I'm really excited by natural materials and the traditional uses of those materials. We like to work with artisans, people who sort of make things the, the old-fashioned way and listening to them and, and tapping into their expertise. Starting my own business after working with and for other people for over 20 years and being here in San Francisco, the way some of the tech startups are handling their business and working in new ways and communicating in new ways is also inspirational to me. So I'm looking to them to learn things. I would say the most challenging part of work for me has been managing other people's expectations, whether that's my staff and what role it is that they think that they should have, um, or whether it's the client and it's a matter of why can't I have more things for the same amount of money. There's a lot of egos that you have to stroke and just to sort of keep everything moving smoothly, that can become, at uncertain days, a full-time job. The things that I love the most about my work are having that moment when the home is turned over to the owners of the home and you get to finally see them in this place that we've been talking about forever. It's just wonderful to see how people actually occupy uh, a place.